Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? I'm a little late on this video. I had some trouble with my stupid computer yesterday. Uh, I turned it on, got everything set up, and the speakers didn't work. The video didn't work. The mic didn't work. Nothing worked except, you know, it was all logged in and everything and uh, I got real frustrated so I shut it all off and went put it down and went off and did something else and I came back later and lo and behold everything's working so who knows what's going on in the mind of Windows 10 which reminds me of a good joke I'll save for some other time. So let me ask you this question. This is a very delicate question. Uh, what do you think it is that Simon Dan just doesn't get along with Nathan Oakley? Uh, so Simon Dan, Nathan Oakley, they just don't get along together so I want to think about I wanted to think about this for a minute and um, I'm thinking that we can compare Nathan Oakley to a dog Nathan Oakley compared to dogs now I know you're already saying Nathan Oakley doesn't have anything in common with dogs, but that's not true. So, uh, he doesn't have anything in common with dogs except for the drooling, the howling, uh, the snarling and biting. Uh, so, those are some things. Uh, he runs in a pack. You think about it for a minute, you know. He's got Sleeping Warrior, he's got uh, Arwen, he's got Qe. all these people that he keeps around him, you know, this is his pack that he runs with. Uh, he has to be the top dog, and uh, so he keeps these people around that will let him be the top dog. <laughs> we just can't get him to shut up. You know, I used to have this dog that would stand in the backyard. She would just stand in one spot, not uh, looking, looking around at the sky. She couldn't really see anything. And she would just bark, just bark for nothing. And you couldn't make her stop barking. And that's kind of the way Nathan Oakley is. You go over to his channel, and he's always got something going over there and he's barking and snarling and snapping at somebody uh, and uh, you know we tried putting a muzzle on him one time but he's always able to get out of it you know how slimy he is and um, <laughs> so like many other dogs, he'll go around and sniff other dogs' butts. Good old sleeping warrior, you know, and all those guys. And, um, of course, he expects them, you know, to return the favor. They sniff at his uh, private parts and at his butt and sort of their get along with each other. Uh, his favorite thing is to have one or the other of them or somebody. Uh, he calls uh, sniffing his balls or s sucking his balls or something. You know, that's his thing he likes to do. And so, you know, he sees his buddies and he rolls over on his back and uh, you know lets them uh, 
do their thing and give him a little pleasure. Uh, he, uh, so he rolls over any time he sees anybody. Uh, they give him a good looking and he goes on ticking. So, um, if you have not seen his channel show, you might go over there in the middle of the show and watch just a little bit of it. Uh, watch him screaming and yelling at people. You know, I even, I even saw him make a PhD cry one time. And uh, it's just a shame that he has to be so abusive what he calls the flat earth channel uh, i always say it's the abuse abuse debate abuse debate channel and uh, that's what i think and um, so if you do go over there uh, be sure and wear some armor not just your uh, face protection because you're going to need it and uh, so is hearing all this and seeing all this and you're thinking about Nathan Oakley kind of is, has traits like a dog uh, we can go back to our original question which was why does Simon Dan not get along with Nathan Oakley? Simon Dan is a cat person. 